wait, we might never see Googly Eye again. I know, and look, these are 99% done. That's pretty much there. I mean, what could go wrong? True. And we at least have to test them out. Yeah, we'd be doing Aviva um, a favor. Right, a favor. I'll just leave her a little note. Let's go. Googly eye, here we come. Pepperoni ice cream. These are awesome. Yeah, with the iris open all the way and the light sensing cones on high. The moonlight lights up everything. All right, so where are you, googly eye? Uh, Martin, do you feel like we're being watched? Yeah, like from back there. Oh. Hmm, nothing. Let's keep going. Hmm. What? What do you mean, what? Huh? Huh, what? Huh, hey. who? Hey, who? Who, where? Where, what? What? Googly eye. eye! Check it out. We have googly eyes, too. Hello, little alien creature. We come as friends. Googly eyes, one and all. <gasps> Follow that Tarsier. I wonder where he's taking us. I don't know, but he sure seems to. This? This tree? What is so special about this tree? Hey, Martin, you know, we're pretty deep in the forest now. Martin? Huh? Yeah, who knows where this tree is on the map? We better mark our route on the GPS. Pass me my creature pod. What do you mean? You have the creature pods, don't you? No, you were supposed to grab them off the charger. I was. No, you were. I'm pretty sure it was you. Um, nope. Huh. So, what you're telling me is that we're deep in the Indonesian rainforest, in the middle of the night, without our creature pods, following a tiny elusive primate, with nothing but these experimental night vision goggles that could fail at any minute? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Awesome! Now, where'd Googly Eye get to? <gasps> He's on your head. He's on your head, too. Wait a second. More, More googly, googly Eyes! Wow! A whole family of Tars ears. Mayday! Mayday! I've been hit! I'm going down! Chris needs help! All right, we've got to help him. But we can't show up around Gourmand with a truck full of raptors. First, we'll let all the African raptors go. Martial eagles, away! So long, spotted owls! Be free, chanting goshawks! Fly away home, Falcon! <laughs> Not so fast, Aviva. I need to borrow a little speed from this falcon first. Activate Peregrine Falcon Power! So I can zip back and rescue my bro. Sounds good, Martin. We'll get the rest of these non-African raptors back to the Tortuga safe and sound. All right, Chris. Get ready for a raptor rescue. So fly, boy. Can't move so fast now, can you? That was just a lucky shot, Gourmand. Well, one thing I know about birds, they can't fly right unless their feathers are just so. And I'm not talking about so muddy. <laughs> It'll take you forever to clean off your creature power suit. And by that time, I will have surprised your blue brother and the rest of your friends. And I will recapture my raptors. Yup! I can't even find my creature pod to warn them. All right, buddy. Thanks for the escort. But you better get far away from here now. Because knowing Gourmand, he could be hiding behind any one of these clouds. Now to get an eagle eye on the situation, because all raptors have awesome eyesight. Engage falcon vision. 
Bro, is now really the best time for a mud bath? <gasps> oh no, he's stuck. And he's no falcon. He's a sitting duck. Ew. Okay, a falcon has 450 feathers, so it takes me an hour to clean each one. Then I'll be here until <gasps> next Tuesday. <gasps> Nice kitty. I've got to get there and fast. Uh oh. Rocketing from the sky is maybe the most awesome raptor power, but it's nothing without talon feet that grab. Woo! Nice save, bro. Let's do this. Miniaturized and standing by. Okay, it's done. Oh! <gasps> Delivering secret disguise? Okay, go, 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 go. Oh. oh, whoa, huh? look at those huge scoopfuls of sand she grabs with her hind feet. We better hustle, Chris. Oh. Oh. Whoa, now this is an impressive face. I'll call her Crocodilla. Oh, check out those teeth. 64 dagger teeth twice as many as we have. Oh, it's a good thing we just look like a couple of crocodile eggs. See, you don't trust her either. Just don't awaken the beast, guys. Ugh. I don't even think she sees us. She's in that special trance that crocodiles get into when they lay their eggs. The trance. She's at step two, egg laying. Let's go. Uh, what, what? Did I crack? No, you're good. 56, 57, 57 eggs. <gasps> one by one, she lays her eggs in the nest chamber. Whew, if all these hatch, there'll be lots of little Nile crocodiles running around here in about three months. Whoa! She's burying them. Are you kidding me? She just drops her eggs in a hole and covers them up? I told you guys, that is one cold creature. We'll see. Let's get in there, Martin. What? Get in where? Where else? The nest. We're crocodile eggs. Those are our pals down there, Aviva. Besides, how else are we going to find out the secrets of crocodile birth? Let's get cracking, Martin. Woohoo! Guys, wait! We're losing you! I'll have to make some adjustments to the signal receiver. Whoa, she's stomping the sand. Looks like she's packing them in. I knew this was a bad idea. Never trust a crocodile. I'm getting a signal again. Yo there, guys, we're fine. The eggs have landed. She's done. We, we did, did it! it. <laughs> we're in, in a crocodile, crocodile nest. nest. <laughs> 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 An eye the size of a basketball? There's only one creature on the planet with an eye this big. A giant squid! Ah, now that's a whale of a squid. Behind your bumper! Oh no, squid attack! She heard Bumper's distress call. Bumper's mom to the rescue. Whoa! That's got to be the world's most powerful headbutt! Because the sperm whale has a giant head. Only the blue whales is bigger. This is it. What we've dreamed to see. What happens every day where people can't go. The creature battle no one has seen before. I'm on it. Keep with them, Chris. I'm on it. No, oh, we're in it! Whoa! Chris, I just discovered something. Giant squid suction cups have serrated cutting teeth. 
That's enough squid slime for one day. Whoa. Battle between sperm whale and giant squid. We can't miss this. How deep can this sub go? Not any deeper. Sensors indicate you're nearing collapse depth. Collapse depth? If you go much deeper, the sub will be crushed like a tin can. Go. Uh-oh. Uh, Chris, we might have to head back. We can't miss this battle. Yeah, but we don't want to get crushed either. The sub controls are acting funny. I have no controls. Must have been lost in battle. We're sinking! Fifteen meters until collapse depth. Fourteen, thirteen. Why will the sub collapse if they go deeper? It's the pressure. What pressure? The water pressure. The deeper the sub goes, the more water is on top, the heavier that water gets, pushing in on the sub. That's pressure. If there's too much water weight pushing down on the sub, or pressure, the sub will be crushed. Gotta pull them out of there. Okay, I get it, I get it. I see why it's harder to explore the deep sea than outer space. I wish we'd gone to the moon. The worst part is, we saw the start of the battle between the sperm whale and the giant squid, and we'll never know how it ends. Almost there. Nine meters to collapse depth. Eight, seven, six, gotcha. And go up. This is a hard what? Aardvark. It's an aardvark. Got it. Aardvark. Never heard of it. Even though they're nicknamed earth pigs, aardvarks are actually more closely related to elephants. Yeah, but they're really one of a kind, with claws as strong as a pickaxe. I never knew fingernails could build a house. She's got beautiful fingernails, and so thick they don't break. Guys, get ready to have the most gorgeous fingernails around. Gorgeous nails? Don't you mean digging power? Yeah, that's what I said. Gorgeous nails. I'm getting to work adding that power digger to the creature power suit. Zap out! <gasps> Uh-oh. Did you hear that laughing sound? Yeah, I like laughing, but not that kind. <laughs> nope, nothing funny about that. <laughs> Spotted hyena! Uh-oh. Hyenas are serious predators for lots of creatures out here, including aardvarks. <gasps> she can't get back to her burrow, so it's plan B. Dig an escape hole. Aardvarks can do that in five minutes flat. Oh yeah, good thing she had a head start. Oh no, it's not deep enough yet. She's gotta buy herself time. Those claws are good for something other than digging. The slash defense. <laughs> the hyena didn't like that one bit. Yes, she did it. <gasps> now I know why holes are so important out here. Whoa! This backpack's a lot heavier when I'm running from a hyena. <sighs> Woo! That was a close one. Yeah, especially since my backpack almost knocked me over. Did you slip some of your stuff in there when I wasn't looking? No. Then why did it feel like it was full of bricks? You didn't put your fossil collection in there, did you? Uh-uh, I don't even have a fossil collection. You do. Uh, Martin, I think there's a snake on my face. Oh yeah, there sure is. Hmm, now which pink snakes do I know? Blind pink snakes? No, but they're from Madagascar, so it can't be one of those. Yeah, while we're talking, you think you can get it off me? Ah, it's you! Oh, that is one long Slurpee tongue. I'm gonna call you Slurpee. Hey, Slurpee. 
Oh, that's cold. Making my brother wear that outfit? Ouch. And throw that move? Oh. 10,000 pairs of oh. earrings. Give me 500 heads. Oh, 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 oh. I want all the Draco red buckles. <gasps> but worse, making him sell living Draco lizards? At this rate, she'll sell up all the Dracos in the forest. Tonight. I've got to stop that show. If I could take out that beam controlling Martin. Oh, but it's too far. Too far for me to glide to. How am I going to get there? I would be such a better top model than that. What? The other one, too? Something's wrong here. Get him! Oh, no! Oh, yes! Zackbots are exactly what I need! I'm gliding to the creature rescue, Draco style! Woohoo! Oh boy. Go, Chris! <laughs> Zippy, I'm free! What? And now for you and the rest of your kind. You're much more beautiful, unfrozen, and alive. Draco's back where they belong. Oh, 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 oh. Fashion may be fleeting, but I'll be back next season. Gliding free and in the wild. Hold it, wild rats! I am not gonna let you ruin this fashion show. Mommy? Get it off! Your dicky feet are scratchy! <laughs> <laughs> Now that's what I call flying off the rack. And way to work those threads, MK. It's the new you. <laughs> oh, I like Chris's outfit better. Yeah, you did it again, Aviva. All aboard. Nothing like gliding around on a moonlit night making lizard jewelry out of tree resins and flower pigments. Now that's real attractive. <gasps> it's a giant five-legged spider! Ah, a spider monkey! Look at the way she climbs effortlessly, 30 meters above the forest floor. Oh, wow! Let me see. Hang on. I didn't even get a good look at her. Oh, she was really cool looking. The Tortuga! Come on, we can get a good look from up there. Spider monkeys! Uh, spiders? And monkeys? No, spider monkeys. We can see them from the roof, come on. What? A monkey that looks like a spider? Uh, no thanks. Oh no, they're really cute. She's right, and they have really funny hair. Come on, check it out! Wow! Can't really tell from here if they're cute. Oh, but look at that arm swinging. Just casually swinging from branch to branch. Swing and stretch and hang. Oh, if only I could brachiate like that. Breaky what, like who? Brachiate, that means swing arm over arm, like a spider monkey does. Wow. That is one impressive creature power. Hey, give me those. Hey. Hey, they are cute. We'll be with those spider monkeys in no time. <laughs> yeah. Only one problem with your brilliant plan, Chris. You're ziplining down, and the spider monkeys are climbing up. Oh, oh no. You're a great climber, bro. But when compared to spider monkeys, not so much. They're just super climbers, aren't they? 
Yeah, and there's no way we can keep up with spider monkeys. But we could have found, oh, about 100 cool insects by now. If we were doing a bug-sized adventure. Huh? What? Horses in the trees? So now horses can climb better than me, too? Not horses, Chris. Those are spider monkeys. And if I remember my spider monkey language lessons, that means they found a fruit tree. My turn, finally! Okay, so there's a father and two teenage monkeys, but no sign of a mother. Okay, now this isn't fair. You make me come on a swing with the spider monkey adventure, and now I can't even look. But I don't even see a mother or a baby. Here, let me see. I'll find a baby spider monkey. Come on, bro, gimme! Martin, you're more annoying than a mosquito. Uh, Chris? I think I found them. Okay, Orbit, hopefully my aim is as good as yours is when you spin the first thread of your web. Yes! Wow! is incredible! Yes! My spider silk really is as strong and tough as a real spider's. <laughs> Donio! Didn't we stop moving? <laughs> Ugh, those wild crafts. Huh. Well, nothing my jet's built-in tailor's kit can't handle. <laughs> oh no! She's free! If she gets out over the Atlantic Ocean, we'll never be able to stop her! Wait a second, I'm picking up something. It's, it's Chris! He's up ahead of the jet! Chris, what are you doing? Making a giant web. If those golden orb weavers can catch birds in their webs, then we can catch a jet airplane in our bigger webs. There, frame's done, now for the sticky part. Well, you better hurry because she's coming down the valley now! Need an extra spinneret? Let's do it, bro! There! Trap set! Here, birdie, right this way. Oh, goody! The ocean! Those wild crats will never catch us now! <laughs> for teaching us how it's done, Orbit. What is this? Dobio, get my jet off this thing now. Coming, Danita. <laughs> Stick around while we rescue those spiders. <laughs> In here. Gotta deactivate pose beam control. Get you spiders home. Those spiders shouldn't be making your dresses, Danita. They deserve to be living free and in the wild, not working for you. Hey, come on, bro. Let's go. Uh, who likes spiders anyway? Jimmy, wake up. Time to go. I got this one. Jimmy, your controller fell out the window and is falling to Central America. Huh? My controller? I've got to go get it! Maybe that was just a titch too dramatic, Martin. Yeah, maybe just a titch. Oh, hey, my controller was right here the whole time. Jimmy and I will stay here to make sure Zap doesn't try any funny business. Wow, you got here fast. Hola, Nina. Hey, Nina. Thanks for the Jaguar alarm. Wahoo! Which way did the Zackbots go? Every way. Whew, this is a tough one. 
how are we gonna find a black jaguar before Zack when any jaguar, black or orange, is so hard to find in the first place? Yeah, even though they are so big, the biggest cat in the Western Hemisphere, by the way, they are so secretive. They're harder to see than the camouflage tortuga. The tortuga? Where's the tortuga? Exactly. Hey, our best bet would be to find some jaguar spotting experts. And then they could help us. You're on. Jaguar spotting experts? Like putting spots on a jaguar? Or do you mean spotting, like seeing jaguars? Crab bros, wait up! You know, creatures like spider monkeys, pacas, white-lipped peccaries, rainforest deer. Oh, I get it. Animals that a jaguar hunts. That's right, because these animals have to spot a jaguar before the jaguar spots them for survival. So, if we can find an animal who's the prey of a jaguar, like the spider monkey, for example, if they spotted Jaguar, they would make a warning call. Whoa. Yeah, sort of like that. Then we would know there's a Jaguar around. <laughs> ah, yes, the spider monkey along. Maybe they spotted a Jaguar. <laughs> What great camouflage. The jaguar's orange and black spotted pattern blends in with the beams of light and shadows of the forest floor, and the jaguar can virtually disappear. I bet a jaguar could sneak up behind you and you wouldn't even know it was there. We wouldn't know, wouldn't we? Well, yeah, of course we would. level is low. We better fuel up with some hummingbird fuel. Oh, you mean sugary nectar from this heliconia flower. Exactly. Now we're kicking it into maximum hummingbird forward hover. Hummingbird powers are zooming us along at 48 kilometers per hour. Ounce for ounce, hummingbirds are the fastest flying birds in the world. There. Waiting for him. Let's get in there. <laughs> yep. Now let's see here. Now, do I drizzle or dip? Dip or drizzle? How about you drip and drizzle it on something else besides those eggs? Yeah, like cake or ice cream or something normal. What? You two? You dare enter my kitchen in fly suits? Oh, come on, not fly suits. These are hummingbird powers, and we've come to rescue those hummingbird eggs. Oh, I see. Well, in that case... <laughs> well, hummingbird powers are the easiest way to deal with gourmand ever. We got so caught up in the awesomeness of hummingbird powers that we forgot about their one weakness. Yeah, they're high energy burn and need to refuel with sugar every 10 minutes. Yay! We're on empty. <sighs> oh. hey. We need to find some nectar to bring the power suits back to full hummingbird power. There. Now I see the... Aha! Yes, our power levels are back up to three tenths. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Four tenths. Flying dough balls are no match for hummingbird powers. Really? Well, how about your sugary energy sword? Oh no! We don't have enough energy to dodge Gourmand and return the eggs to the hummingbird nest. Follow me. Well, that's just fine. Go find some more flowers, but by the time you return, I will have dipped those tiny little eggs 
and my special chocolate sauce, and I will have devoured them! <laughs> huh? Hi, Gourmand! Did you know chocolate sauce is my favorite sugary liquid? Thanks for powering us up. We're back to full hummingbird powers. <laughs> I've got the eggs. I've got Gourmand. <laughs> Autopilot activated. Bon voyage! Safe and back home. Creature mission accomplished with hummingbird powers. Okay, 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 we gotta know. What creature is that? Who are you on? Oh, here he is. Welcome to planet Three Toad Sloth. Now that looks like an alien. <laughs> yeah, but a cute one. Yes, sloths. <laughs> Today's gonna be pretty easy because that's a creature who knows how to chillax. Chillax? Yeah, chill out and relax. Chillax. See, this is how you chillax. <sighs> chillax, yeah, that'll work. That's what we'll name him, Chillax. Slow and steady. That's the sloth's way. Oh, yeah. We're about to reach top speed. He's in high gear now. He's heading for that leap. Go, Chillax, go! Yeah! Time! Oh, nice work. Less than one-sixth of a kilometer per hour. That's record time for the world's slowest mammal. That was awesome! Aviva, you have to make a suit of this guy. What? Why? What's the power? I mean, they're not fast. Less than two kilometers per hour compared to Cheetah's 110 kilometers per hour. I think all of us can climb faster than that, even me. The suit would actually slow us down. Exactly. They know how to hang out. That's good enough for me. My kind of creature. <laughs> Come on, please. Okay, Jay-Z, I'll do it for you. Just stop looking at me like that. Hey, we'll help with that suit. <laughs> Back to normal size. Here's what you need to know. One of the reasons sloths are so slow is they've taken a strategy of conserving energy. Leaves don't have a lot of energy, and other animals that eat them have to spend most of their time eating. So instead of eating a lot, sloths just slow down their pace so they can use less energy. And hey, it works for them. Spider monkeys! Oh, 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 oh. And these guys are totally different. They eat fruit. It's high in energy, so these guys can move. And look, another creature link. They're both dependent on these trees for food. They just eat different parts. Hey, Chris, it's Grabsy. Hey, Grabsy, you know that spider monkey hairstyle you gave me last time? Could you do that again? That's Blur! our cheetah buddy from the last time we were in Africa, when Aviva raced her cheetah racer against the Zacterain. Aw, cute! I don't believe it. When did Blur have a cub? Uh, from the looks of him, I'd say about seven weeks ago, because he still has that black and white coloring on top. Oh, I've got to come up with a special name for him. Aww. 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 What does she see out there? Hmm. I don't know. But her black eye stripes are absorbing the sun's glare so she can see when it's bright. Oh, wait, I've got just the thing. Oh. Here it is, my black baseball grease. When I spread it onto my eyes in the cheetah's eye stripes, it gives me the cheetah power to look out onto the bright savanna and see... A lion! Lions are always trying to take out cheetahs. Lions see the cheetah as competition, and they'll kill a cheetah or even a cheetah cub any chance they get. 
That chirp means hide. A special chirp for each command. Now Blur is going out to distract the lion. She's trying to lead the lion away from little... Oh, what am I going to call him? Now that is one clever way to avoid predators. Cheetah style. Spot speed. A light, lean running machine. Ooh, here's my chance to update and improve my cheetah racer. Bring up the cheetah racer. Mm hmm. hmm. Blur lures away lions with her cheetah speed to keep her cubs safe because little cubs can't run fast yet. Check out the racing stripe. Black fur on his back with a white stripe down the middle. I wonder why a cheetah cub has that and his mom doesn't. Hey, where is his mom? I'll use my cheetah vision to find her. <gasps> there she is. Here we go, a cheetah hunt. She has to catch a gazelle to feed her cub. the fastest land animal on the planet at 70 miles per hour. Whoa! Oh, two guinea fowl in one leap? That cat has some quick paws too. Ooh, a cheetah wants in on the action. Hey, that's cheating. Cheetahs rarely steal food, but competition is fierce out here between the wild cats. This isn't cheating. It's cheetah-ing. Wait. Oh, no. We lost her again. At least we got a fast ride home. Race ya. Activate cheetah powers. <laughs> First one to the Tortuga wins! Ah! <laughs> I'll be waiting for you! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> what are you guys doing? Aviva said get here fast. But not like a destructive meteor. <laughs> Sorry. I won though. <laughs> no way. I had you by a whisker. Any luck finding my birdie? Oh, not yet. But that's why we need a birdmobile to lure in that crafty caracal. It's finished. The Gimme Fowl Flapper. It's perfect. Don't worry, Aviva, we'll get your birdie back. That's what you said last time. But now we have a birdmobile. That birdie is really, really important to me, please. We'll find it. Continue mission, bring back badminton birdie. Let's go, guinea fowl flapper. Nice flying action, Chris. Thanks, bro. But how long are we gonna have to do this? How about another guinea fowl alarm? Nice, would have fooled me. Uh-oh, it got a spotted eagle owl's attention. Evasive maneuvers. Nice turn, Martin, but don't accidentally get away from the caracal. Don't think I could. Look! Hello, hang time. It worked! <laughs> Our plan worked! <laughs> hey, Martin, I don't see Maze, do you? What? I don't see him anywhere. Maze! Buddy, where are you? Oh, no, Martin. We lost him. Come on, we've got to find him. Maze! Maze? Where Maze. are you? I 
can't see Maze. All the stripes look the same. They might look the same, but every zebra pattern is different. Yeah, not exactly the same, but I still can't tell one from the other. I think I can help with that. I took a picture of Maze's pattern for the crew jackets, remember? I just sent it to your creature pods. Looks like he has a zigzag marking on the side of his neck. Yes! You and your crew jackets just saved the day. And hopefully Maze. Okay, this guy doesn't match the stripe pattern, so he's not Maze. This baby doesn't match either. And Mom's right here. I'm getting dizzy already, and we just started. Okay, Chris, I'm coming. Just seeing stripes. Okay, okay, stop pulling on my shirt, Chris. Uh, that's not me, Martin. But it might be Maze. It's a match. Three thick black stripes on his head, check. Two thin white stripes on his ears, check. And the zigzag marking on his back, check. Yes! We found him! Hey, little buddy! That's the good news. The bad news is all these moms have babies. So we still have to find Maze's herd. That's a classic zebra warning cry if I ever heard one. Oh, something spooked them all right. And that something's name is... Hyena! Whoa! Oh no, the hyenas have Maze surrounded. We gotta do something. We have the power of confusion camouflage, bro. I'll zig, you zag. Together, we'll have the hyenas Z and stripes. Go, 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 go! I think the confusion camouflage move is working. Zebras have stripes, so predators have a hard time figuring out where one zebra ends and the other begins. And it works! Come on, let's get back inside the herd. The more stripes, the better. Woohoo, yeah! Oh, we confused those hyenas, and they gave up. Yeah! Our maze of stripes saved Maze's hide. And our own. Have a great migration! Nice camouflaging with ya! <laughs> oh, she's teaching what fruit is good to eat. Green could make him sick, but the yellow is ripe and ready to eat. <laughs> From the looks of them, it's delicious. Cool! Orangutans teach their kids the knowledge of the forest. Yeah, they have a knowledge of the plants, fruits, and trees. They pass from generation to generation. But I noticed something else, dude. Nobody teaches them to eat with their mouths closed. <laughs> they sound kind of like you slurping breakfast cereal. <laughs> More like you sucking up soup. Huh? Where are you guys? Uh, we were kind of thrown off course. Are you doing yoga? No, we're stiffening up. Uh, just hold up the first aid kit. I'll teleport it back here. Uh. Uh. Jimmy, you're gonna teleport my head. Uh, my fingers aren't working right. Wait, we can't teleport living things. Cancel teleport. Forget it, Jimmy. We're bringing the medicine kit to you. Is this the way back? Right on course. Huh? Uh, Chris, we're running, but not going anywhere. Huh? Uh-oh. Oh. His feet seem to be as strong as his hands. Uh. Interesting observation, Chris. I think I'm gonna name him the big, strong orange guy who won't let us get back to the Tortuga. <laughs> Might be a little long, you think? Whoa! Uh, we already believe orangutans are really strong. You really don't have to show us again. Whoa! Talk about being thrown off course. He threw us back here again? Huh. 
Yeah, now that's funny luck. A real coincidence. Hmm. Or did he do it on purpose? Whoa! Even as babies, they're strong. It's so wild that a baby orangutan is strong enough to grab and hang when he is just six hours old. When he's around a year old, he's as strong as a grown-up human. 